Magic. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Yo, the age of a new king is drawing nearer? Why didn't anyone tell me? Good morning. Top of the morning to you, my dear passengers. I trust that the sleeping quarters more than exceeded your expectations, True. eh? They were better than I'd feared, considering how tiny they are. But I've got a question of my own. Isn't the desert sand gonna do a number on this runner? <laughs> my boy, remember who maintains this rugged girl? Nary a grain of sand can fit between her seams, I assure you. Regardless, we'll be leaving these arid dunes behind tomorrow. I knew it! Wow, runners really are neat, aren't they? A carriage would never be able to get through the desert this fast. But, uh, just keep an eye on the road, okay, Nurus? <sighs> we'll arrive in Martira in two days. Well met. Rogue, you've come at the perfect moment. I was just thinking I'd ponder some battle strategies over my game board. An abstract game of military tactics, you see. Care to indulge me in a round? Yo, give me that wisdom, girl. All right. Then let us begin. I shall give and expect no quarter, shall we? If so... We are just playing chess. If that's how you plan to make your advance, then... Ruh -ruh. I can't make any more moves, that's the match. Hmm. My, I learned quite a bit from that match. I believe we would both benefit from continued practice. This game affords me the opportunity to visualize strategies all on my own. What if an enemy came at me from such an angle? How would I retaliate and so on and so forth? I'd say... I once failed in my duty to protect His Highness the Prince. At that time, I was but a novice, a new addition to the Royal Guard. I lacked the experience needed to properly assume the role. That's why. Tis for that reason that I now train both my body and mind so thoroughly, as I have vowed to never let such a thing occur once again. That's impressive. Right. Your dedication is impressive. No. Perhaps, but it would be more accurate to say that I'm trying to attain perfection rather than implying I've already achieved it. That said, tis quite the pleasure to speak so freely with you. I find comfort in knowing that I may share my feelings with a compatriot. <sighs> If we find success in this endeavor and create a country where all can truly live equally, I hope to serve as a knight captain, passing down what knowledge I can to a new generation. I will speak not just of tactics, but of all my experiences on this journey, my victories, and of course my failures too. Aye. And in so doing, I would see the Royal Guards elevated to new heights, I hope. You can yeah. do it. If anyone can do that, it's you, Hulkenberg. Yes. Well, should such a starry-eyed wish come true, I shall tell them much of you, our captain. Such a position is certainly not one most could adapt to, much less succeed in, given the circumstances of our fight. And I must say, you wear the role well. Tis hard to believe it's your first foray into such responsibility. Perhaps you have a natural talent for it. <laughs> Though to call it a talent is a disservice. No, whatever higher calling you have, I can only be as I am now because of you. <sighs> such praise from a knight is quite an honor. True. Twas you and Galica that set the cogs of this journey in motion. Well, mostly me. Galica, she was like, she was just kind of there. I think there's some significance to you being the captain, in my humble opinion. You have my gratitude. After crossing proverbial swords with you, I feel that I am one step closer to realizing my dream. My wisdom is grown. All right. I'm so smart. Rank three, here we All come. Right. Now then, shall we continue our discussion on tactics? There are some blunders you can avoid next time. For example, when a piece moves here, you should. Look at all that magic, yo. We're loaded. I say, uh, we could stop for a break. Ahoy, break time chums. There's something up ahead, so we'll be stopping there. Coming now into view is the Tree of Prophecy, a resplendent tapestry of color against the backdrop of the bleak desert. There's a the prophecy tree? Is that the tree's roots gorge on the land's magla. And still another is that it gorges on those enraptured by its colorful foliage as though themselves snared by the bewitching magma surrounding the tree, the gauntlet runner comes to a stop at its base. Here we are. Shall we get a closer look? Ooh, pretty. Whoa. Wow, it's so pretty. That's... It's not just the leaves. It's as though the whole area has been painted red. Certainly. This place calls to mind a picture book I read as a child. It told of a great tree located somewhere within the country, whose colors shifted to foretell unusual events in the times ahead. How exactly would a tree foretell the future? And how does a plant grow this huge in the middle of a desert? Hmm. I'm not sure if this explains it, but I am sensing an incredible amount of magla in the air here. Hmm. 
If your hypothesis is correct, that would make this no mere tree, no sir, but a magical organism that feeds off of magla. As a matter of scientific research, I must document this discovery. Nearest pulled a sheet of paper and a brush from his pocket and began to draw the landscape in front of him. Hey. Whoa, Nearest, how'd you get so good at drawing? Ah, my boy, meticulous documentation is the foundation of all good research. There you have it. I'm finished here. Take it as a keepsake. Wasn't it for research? Right. <laughs> all the pertinent information I need has been etched into my very mind. I can make do without the sketch itself. Well, thank you. I received Nearest's research picture. The drawing is intricately detailed and could accurately convey the full majesty of this place to a viewer who's never been. Hey there. Hey, why don't we give that to Maria? I bet she'd love to see something from our journey and we could tell her a story about this place. Next time we're in Grand Trad, give it to Maria. All right, got it. Huh? A magical organism in the form of a tree. Say, aren't fairies in the same classification? Precisely. Gallica is the most precious treasure as well. I've been observing her very closely, which is giving me great insight into my own research into flight. Huh? What? You've been observing me this whole time? I don't recall you asking, so knock it off. However... Turning our attention back to the tree, I've heard that it tints itself blue to herald the arrival of favorable developments. I wonder what manner of anomaly its current color portends. Well, if blue is good, then red is probably bad. <laughs> All right. Yo, more wisdom. Let's go. I become ever smarter. The gauntlet runner arrives in a quiet clearing, concealed by boulders, as darkness reclaims the wilderness for itself. Monsters run rampant in the wilds. To sleep here would be perilous, unless from within the safety of a gauntlet runner. The party, secure in their gauntlet runner, spends the night in peace, hidden from hungry gazes. Thank you, magical sky voice. We're almost to July. The Rock Den Camp. <laughs> We'll be in Martira the day after tomorrow. Wonder what kind of place Martira is? Who knows? Thank you for another Luma B. <sighs> Grand Trad could dazzle even the darkest nights. Out here, you could barely see the horizon. It's a comforting, comforting reminder of home, if I'm honest. I just couldn't appreciate it from a swaying gauntlet runner. You feeling better? Yeah. Yes, I ate a bit and that helped. I almost envy Hulkenberg's ability to eat anything, anytime, anywhere. <laughs> I haven't always been this weak, but the swaying takes me back to times I'd sooner forget. After I lost my home, I was tossed between relatives, and each time it began with an agonizing journey in a rocking carriage. I suppose that's why I find my mind drifting to Halia. I often wondered how the people who survived are faring now. Well met. Well met, I don't suppose you're as overburdened with free time as I am. I'm certainly no stranger to traveling, but I've no idea how to spend idle hours. If the idea appeals, might we talk a bit? Let's do it. Get that imagination up. I just want to keep boosting my stats during these trips, I guess. <laughs> This power we've awoken to, I have all sorts of questions, but what I really find curious are these forms we take on. Each has their unique aspects, but one bit they all have in common is their armor-like appearance. What do you make of that? It's cool. Certainly. I think it looks cool. I see. I do find the austerity of the designs intriguing, but I was not speaking of how they look per se. In my opinion, the armor encloses the raging forces within us, allowing us to direct that power as one directs a horse by its reins. It is said people lose their magic because they refuse to confront their fears and anxieties, forever unaware of that power lurking within them. Hmm. Is that not then the very condition to awaken our slumbering power? Also, hence why it is so exhausting and why it cannot be maintained for long. The ravenous appetite I had to afterwards is proof. We do well to practice diligence, maintaining our food reserves. Give me that imagination. Right. Almost at level two, we're getting there. It's getting quite late, but we have a ways to go yet, so I would very much like to continue chatting with you. All right, all right. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. We're gonna make it there on Water's Day. Oh, hello. <gasps> We're out of the desert! Huh? Oh wow, I've missed all this green! Huh? What happened to needing to hold on to something? Why is it so bumpy? That'd be the change in terrain, lad! <sighs> See, got to let the suspensions get used to hard ground instead of soft sand! <sighs> Must be nice to fly everywhere. 
What the? Did we just crash? Of course not! Dancer! A cannonade! <laughs> Roll. My star is rising! Ah! Sanctism will reign! Ah! It's them. Remember, from the opening ceremony. I think one of them is Godot, Forden's confidant, and the other is Luis's man, Gladell. Prominent candidates. Shouldn't the king's magic petrify them for their aggression? No, see where they're aiming. They're not shooting to kill, just to take out the opposing runner's legs. Doesn't seem like they're trying to land a fatal shot, just aiming to break the opposing side's gauntlet runner. Stuck out in the wilds with no working runner. Well, they survive or not, they're dashed well out of the race. So does the clash to halt each other's advance. Damn fools couldn't resist a show of force. Look, over by the legs. That crier is there, too. I see. Acting as witness to the higher candidate's conflict. It seems Gladell cannot match Godot's firepower. Our plan hinges on winning Louis's favor. Can we afford to abandon Gladell if he's one of Louis's supporters? Yes. What's our plan? If we just hang back and watch, Godot's gonna win. And Forden gets a leg up on the competition. Let's see how it plays out. I don't agree with the character's idea of getting close to Luis. I think that we should just win the competition. How about we see how it plays out? No, I think we should step in on Gladell's side. I know, I, I don't like it either, but if we want Luis's favor, this might be the strategic play we need. Getting Luis's favor is a stupid plan in the first place. Agreed. Let us ride to Gladell's aid. I say, hold on! You realize you're a no-name candidate? If he wants to shut you out, he'll not have to aim for just our legs. It's a runner, isn't it? If things get too dicey, we'll just run. Didn't you say we had the fastest craft around? Uh, fine. Suppose there's no room for caution if we want the world's eyes on us. Okay, then, it's settled. Let's make sure he owes us big. There should be an external runner phone out there. We're here to help. Withdraw, Gladell. Who goes there? Why do you stand for Luis's forces? Well, um, sorry, can't get into it now. That gauntlet runner. You're that commoner candidate who destroyed the Grand Cathedral. Was that not enough? You would profane the saint for the second time. So be it. In God's name, be thou punished. Godot and his monks have boarded the deck. Looks like he knows the magic won't shield us. He's aiming to kill us here and now. You dare interfere in my fight? Know your place! Is it fame you seek? You thought by confronting me, you might lift your own names? Then you chose the wrong opponent. I hate to interrupt, old egg, but it's a touch more complex than that. We of the Crown Theocracy's monk army have silenced all who would oppose the eminence of God. Your petty ruses are beneath me. Now you shall know how powerless you truly are. Remember, the King's magic means we cannot move to strike Godot himself. Go for his followers first. We'll thin their numbers and turn the tide. Go, my brethren. Put the fear of God into these impious commoners. Don't forget about the petrification magic! I shall vanquish evil! The petrification magic, you say? Mage has got to go first, every time. Nice Let's crit, gamer. I'm jumping back. Won't hold back. Uh, how you feel about lightning? lightning. Resist lightning, good to know. Looks like we can't brute force through this one. Let justice prevail! Well, you're probably weak to, um... If I had to guess, you're probably weak to we'll team up. darkness. Let's get that defense down, though. Get him! Ooh, weak to pierce, you dumb idiot. Die. 
Oh, 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 oh. It's too it's early me. to go to his side. Man, I really hope that you don't resist this and it kills you. Alas. What so close. To achieve? A cocky smirk. <laughs> he knows we can't attack him. He's Let us fight as one. Coordination Get this one's key. defense down now. Roar with royal might. With royal might. Get played. Mm, you resist back. spear. Okay. Warrior. Let's make certain that I'll you die. You down. <sighs> nice. What could you hope to achieve? What could you hope to achieve? Look out! Oh, hey, that ability actually uh, <laughs> triggered. Brace yourself. They really do, but like, I, dude, this is gonna look so sus. Us helping out nice? here to um, what's this his face? Nice. To Luis and whatever the other guy's name was. They're gonna be like, what the heck? Why would you ever do this? Weak to ice, cringe, cringe. You're so done, bro. Okay, you resist all physical. But I have Blizz on two different characters, so it is over for you, my man. Resistance is futile. All right, enjoy your last turn. More resilient than I expected. I would lose nothing by conceding this fight. But the faithful are watching. For the sake of my dear brethren, I must hold nothing back. Now, feel the righteous truth of sanctism engraved upon your flesh. Does this mean he's getting serious? my brother. Oh, I don't like that. Is that all? My defense! Sanctism will reign! <laughs> All right, I didn't do very much. I Go should just it. be able to kill this the spear monk this turn, so nice. we should be fine. I sure Let did. Open, oh, shards of ice. Oh, shards of ice. Goodbye. So, the faithful are broken before you, yet your desperate struggling is for naught. You cannot defy the inevitable. I am immune to all your wicked harms. Oh, he gets to do whatever he wants, and we can't even get near him! <laughs> Bend the knee, and yield to the divine truth of sanctism! Now, are you prepared for the end? Ah, I think not, you rotter! Please tell me he's on some kind of a launch platform. Like, literally Looney Tunes him out of here. Sure. What have you done to my gauntlet runner? He literally just kicked it. We have nothing to lose. At the very least, I can thrash your own clunker until it's inoperable. This is a waste of my time. So be it. You'll face your divine punishment soon enough. Phew. Finally, he took the hint. Hey, get down here. Hi. What are you playing at? You think I owe you now or something? I would have been fine without your meddling. Is that the woman who was singing? I guess you survived this time. Don't you talk down to me. You want to see what I'm really capable of. Why, Gladell, surely you can spare some manners for a crew that saved our lives? Honestly, that got a bit ugly for my liking. Well, well, well. Do my eyes deceive me? Juna the songstress in the flesh. What brings you all the way out here? A little tryst on the road, is it? Nothing so saucy. I'm afraid this cad's just my chauffeur. Now please, darling, a little privacy, or I'll have to charge for an interview. All right, I hate Juna. I hate her. Anyone who says privacy instead of privacy deserves suffering. Also, I do not like her eyes. Fair enough, miss. Fair enough. Nothing you're not used to. But consider me chastened and shooed. 
Besides, I might have found another angle here that's just as promising. You surprised me out there, love. You bested Godot. <laughs> Nearest, please. So you're not just a pretty face. You were more help than my useless driver, at least. <sighs> Look here. However talented and famed a songstress she may be, you must remember to contain yourselves. Oh, you're a huge fan of her, aren't you? Songstress? Wait, is she the same Nydia lady who sang at the opening ceremony? I... but that's... oh, blast it all, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> I'd know the suspensions anyway. <laughs> of course, the you ship! Caden workshop on this, eh? Yes, those are quality parts and no mistake. Luis really shells out for his own. By the crown, you can't be serious! She is Juno! The kingdom's greatest singer, the dulcet diva. Oh, this is preposterous. Surely I can't be the only one starstruck? Listen, I only listen to anime openings. I know nothing about this singer. Really? N no one else wants to shake her hand? Well, then on behalf of this group, I... I suppose it falls to me. <laughs> You're an interesting little ensemble. Wait, is that a fairy? A real living one? Where did you... Hey, up there! An airborne gauntlet runner! He's actually finished it! 